The Earthshot Prize sets out five urgent challenges that humankind needs to solve in the remainder of this decade to repair our planet. Almost everything we do has a carbon footprint, and that carbon is destabilising our climate and making our planet warmer. For future generations to be able to thrive, we need solutions now. From using bacteria to make fuel, and creating concrete from non-recyclable plastic, to burying carbon emissions forever in rock. These are the finalists for the 2022 Earthshot Prize to fix our climate. The fuels that power our transport and the plastics we use in thousands of products are all made of carbon. At present, we source this carbon from ancient fossilized plant remains collected as oil. But now that there's too much carbon in the atmosphere, Chicago-based Lanzatech asks, why not take it directly from the air? I'm Jennifer Holmgren, I'm the CEO of Lanzatech. What we do is at Lanzatech, we recycle waste carbon, carbon that's already above the ground, and we convert that to the things that we use every day, from fuels like sustainable aviation fuel to chemicals like polyester or the foam or everything that you use in your home. This breaks the cycle, removing the need to take the fossil fuels from the ground in the first place. But to do this, they first had to work out how to capture the airborne carbon. The idea is actually quite simple in that um, you're used to the fermentation of sugar to make beer, right? We make beer, but we don't start with sugar. What we do is we start with gases. Gases that are actually greenhouse gases, carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide. And we have a bacteria that ferments the gases and converts them to ethanol. Once in the form of ethanol, the carbon can be easily transferred into a whole host of industrial products. Lanzatech believe their approach revolutionizes what's possible. What our product does is it allows you to imagine a different future. The construction industry is a significant emitter of carbon into the atmosphere. Concrete alone causes 7% of global carbon emissions. UK-based solution Low Carbon Materials believes that it doesn't have to be that way. Hi, I'm Natasha Boulding, co-founder and chief exec. The concrete sector needs innovation. It affects all of us, from the office buildings we work in to the homes that we live in. We need to build more sustainably. Low Carbon Materials believes a material called Ostol can offer a true solution. Ostol is a carbon negative alternative to traditional aggregate, one of concrete's main ingredients. Made out of otherwise non-recyclable plastic waste, Ostol absorbs carbon from the atmosphere, offering two solutions in one. The first trials have been successful, and now major players in the industry are taking an interest. The waste products that we utilise are available all over the world. In the coming months, we're looking at how we can scale this, not just in the UK, but globally. Low Carbon Materials have high hopes that Austal can help them realise the dream of a net zero construction sector. The construction industry is so vast that any small change in such a big industry can result in significant positive impact. The scale and speed at which we need to remove carbon emissions is so great that we also need solutions that can get rid of the carbon forever. My name is Talal, I'm from Oman, and I'm the Carbon General at 4401. Global warming affects everyone. When I was a child, it would rain once every year or two. Now, here in Oman, we get cyclones on an annual basis. The world has exceeded its limit for carbon dioxide emissions. Our solution can help us capture and remove some of that carbon dioxide permanently, and we have to act now. In response, the team at 4401 went directly to the source of the problem. When I looked at the whole carbon cycle, I realized that removing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere is the number one priority, given the amount of knock-on effects having that excess CO2 in the atmosphere could lead to. We take a captured carbon dioxide, which is pulled out of the atmosphere, and we inject that carbon dioxide into peridotite rocks. Peridotite is a special rock because it reacts with carbon dioxide, converting it into a rock permanently. Our process and our technology speeds up this natural reaction. There are many other technologies being developed to collect carbon dioxide from the air, but there are very few solutions like 4401s that can lock it away forever. We want to speed up carbon mineralization and we want to remove a billion tons of carbon dioxide 
by 2040. Just to give you an idea of how much carbon dioxide that is, that is equivalent to all of the world's emissions from airlines. Carbon in the atmosphere contributes to climate impacts that threaten all life on Earth. We can combat the climate crisis by removing more carbon from the atmosphere than we put into it. We can protect innocent people from climate-driven disasters and crises. We can fix our climate so that life everywhere can thrive for generations to come.